Hey there, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and wouldn't you know it, but today is Saturday, the 10th of June, 2023. So lots to unpack this week. Um, it was my birthday, as um, some of you know, anyway. I turned 63 on the 6th, and it was, uh, as birthdays go, it was kind of a bunt. Eh. Um, I stupidly, the day before, had a large iced coffee late in the day that really played hob with my sleeping the night before, so I was getting by the whole day on just a couple of hours of sleep, so I was pretty much, I, I called it my zombie birthday to someone. Uh, speaking of birthday, let's go back to our, our opening here. This is a beautiful Q Posket, that's how it's, you say it, figure of Lum from my favorite anime, which is called Urusei Yatsura. Here is the box for said Q Posket, and I'll put it away as we speak, because I want to make sure it stays in pristine condition. And uh, it was an early birthday gift from my dear friend, Suzanne. Sorry if I'm going in and out of shot. But um, so I heard from some people, some family was over, I will say politely, uh, very unenthusiastically. And uh, although later in the evening, my, my niece Tracy came by, that was, it was quite nice to see her. It was nice to see everyone. It was good to see my nephew Davey and such. You know, it's always good to see them. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so the birthday as a whole, eh. Um, and then came the wildfires of Canada. And here in Westport, our air quality is usually in like the 0 to 15 range. You know, the lower the better. And the next day it was 139. Ugh. Although here it got up to 400 in New York City. But 139 was bad. The skies were orange. There was a haze everywhere. You couldn't see clouds. And it definitely affected my eyes and my breathing. It also affected my nephew Michael who lives here with me. And he felt really tired and worn out the whole day. So thankfully that's been it it's been getting better each day here as the majority of that has passed through. What the overall cumulative effect will be on people that have been exposed to this, uh, it'll probably take us years to find out. So um I don't know, today I was talking with Michael. Michael said that I seem kind of like wound up today and I don't see it, but maybe I am. I don't. I don't know. I. I think I've been kind of downbeat and brooding most of the week. To be very honest with you, um, it was nice. I for the first time in over like two years, I heard from my friend Bob Shrek because I'd lost his number, but thankfully he got in touch and we played catch up, so that was good. One of my longest time friends very dear to me you know it's always good when you reconnect with someone so that was nice and beyond that you know oh uh, another birthday gift I got a, an Amazon card from my wonderful friend Lori and one of the things that I got been on my renaissance kick this is the three disc remaster with tons of bonus stuff of my favorite renaissance album well, one of my two favorite renaissance albums this is novella the other favorite being um, Scheherazade and other stories uh, why is it my favorite album uh, because it is it only has five songs on it it has uh, can you hear me the sisters Midas man the captive heart and touching once is so hard to keep but it just feels good. It just everything flows so nicely. The playing is so gorgeous and lush and wonderful. Everyone's in 
top top form and I love you love it so I ordered this and I needed a new watch so I got a, a little watch uh, with the rest of what Lori gave me what's so funny is I believe I went as I ordered it with shipping well not shipping with tax and stuff it was like a dollar something over the, the 50 for that because that that box set was um, 30 some odd dollars right there so anyway we move onward so I'd like to talk about a film today and I have it conveniently right here this is the Blue Dahlia uh, 1946 film George Marshall produced it John Houseman the great John Houseman directed it an early John Houseman gig there starring Alan Ladd Veronica Lake and William Bendix to me William Bendix adds such a special thing to this film as um, Alan Ladd's pal who has a metal plate in his head that drives him up the wall so the story behind this mystery film where Alan Ladd's character is accused of killing his wife was that Alan was going off to the war and they needed to be able to um, find a script a good script for him before so he could do one last thing before he went away and it fell into the hands of Raymond Chandler great novelist hard-boiled stuff um, and he wrote it in something like a weekend I believe and he he, he wanted to be isolated and he wanted to be able to get drunk at will and he would type them a, a script that they were going to love and he did the dialogue in this is all kinds of snappy and biting and sarcastic and all that kind of good stuff that you want it, it's it's just a great thing uh, there are bits of it where you go okay but why that's okay and um, you know people always tried to put a romance together of Veronica Lake and Alan Ladd of which there never was one because Veronica Lake turns out had a massive crush on William Bendix which I, I was surprised to read years ago I read her autobiography and she goes into some detail about it. she just she had the thing for William Bendix they never did anything at least she mentioned but who knows anyway it's a fabulous film 1946 in good old black and white it could have been in color but it wouldn't have been the same in color and you know the uh, Howard De Silva's in there Doris Dowling is uh, Alan Ladd Alan Ladd's um, trashy wife she's trashy that's a trash matic woman in that film and Veronica Lake is suitably mysterious and uh, it's a great time if you've not seen it I highly recommend it uh, it's some good stuff so people have been enjoying I've been I, I've I've gotten feedback you like when I'm talking about the movie you like to hear about the movies so I thought I would talk about this one and uh, today I have to make another call because I couldn't get her on the phone earlier. It is my friend Daniela's birthday. Happy birthday, Daniela, if you see this. And uh, beyond that, uh, there's been lots of family stuff and all sorts of things. And I'm just talking too long here is what's going on. And uh, we'll just call it a wrap for today, shall we? I love you all. Bye-bye.